Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? We bothered me seeing me all do it. Hey, I had a few people asking me about my slip barber setup when I was out there catching them bluegill. So I'm gonna show you everything you need. Then I'm gonna show you how to uh, rig it up real quick. I ain't gonna take too much time with it. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can. So let me show you everything you need. So here goes your barber. I use a 1.8 barber. I had this barber in my pickup truck, man. Look at it. It been so hot outside. Look how that barber done melted, man. I had it in my truck. So now I gotta go buy some more. It been so hot out here, man. It been 100 degrees out here. Don't leave nothing. You see what happened to it. So don't, don't leave nothing in your truck because it might melt. But this is what you need to slip barber. You got your barber stops. You got the split shots. I got number sevens. And I got uh, number threes. And uh, this is the jig I was using when I was catching them bluegills. And this is everything out of the package. So you got your beads. You got your beads. You got your ball stop. You got your number three and you got your number seven. And you got your jig. And these are some new jigs I got from uh from K Fred. Can't wait to try these out. And that's it. That's all you need. So that's all you need, people. Let me show you how to rig it up right quick. Y'all stay tuned. All right. So the first thing you want to do, pull you enough line out so you can work with it. All right, so the first thing you want to put on, you want to put your barber stop on. And I don't, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but if you can see that little slit, see that little slit in that barber stop, make sure you buy the one with the slit because it's, it's easier to take off your line once you slide the your, your thread off. They sell some that don't have a slit on there. And if you slide it off the wrong way, it's going to get stuck on your line and you ain't going to be able to get it off and you got to start all over again. So just make sure you buy the one with the slit in it. So I'm going to show you, show you the reason why. All right, so you slide your knot off of that cylinder you see that cylinder when I let it go it's just gonna fall off the line see that you ain't got to worry about it no more but they got some that don't have that slit on there and if you slide it up towards your pole and then you tie that knot on that then you ain't ready to get it off So now that we got this on there, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. You pull your tag ends, you tighten it up. Yeah, just gonna slide that out the way for right now. We're gonna come back to this. So the next thing you wanna do, you wanna put your bead, put your first bead on. Some people use bigger beads, but I just use the bead that come in the package. So you put your bead on. So the next thing you put on is your slip cork. Next thing you put on, another bead.
Can't see the hole. There it is. Another bead. Okay, and at that point, you can go ahead and tie your tie your uh, jig on, tie your hook on, whatever you're gonna use. If you're gonna use the jig, use the jig. If you're gonna use the hook, so you can fish with uh, minnows or worms, then you can tie your hook on there. But I like using hand ties, but I usually have more than one rod set up so i have one set up with a hand tie on there and i have one set up with a with a hook on there Is it jig on there? Cut this little axis off on the end. All right, so I'm gonna bag it up. You got your barber stop, B, slip cork, and your jig. So the next thing you want to put on there is your split shot. So what you want to do, you want to have your split shot set where it's 12, where you have a 12 inch leader from your hook or either your jig. So I put the, put my sp split shot on there. And then you want to pull that line down about 12 inches. Uh, about right there, that's good enough. And then you want to squeeze the split shot on there, on your line. Nice and tight. It ain't going nowhere. So, it's gonna look like that. That's your leader. So, it's gonna look like that. Your split shot, then your jig. So, it's gonna look like that. It's like a 12, like a leader, a 12 inch leader. So, what, so the purpose of this split shot is. It stops your slip cork. It stops the slip cork right there. It ain't gonna go no further than that. So you'll have a 12 inch leader at the bottom of your slip cork. That's what the purpose of this split shot is. It stops your cork. And then you'll have a 12 inch leader. And if you are fishing with a minnow, you to get that minnow you know, free movement to swim around or whatever. So that's the purpose of that. All right, so we're gonna bag back up to the, to your bottle stop. You can go ahead and tighten it down now. It don't matter when you tighten it down, just as long as you tighten it down pretty tight. Cut your ends off. Cut your ends off pretty close. All right, 
And that's your that's your bobble stop right there. The purpose of your bobble stop is to change the depth of your whole leader. So if you want to fish five feet, ten feet, twenty feet, thirty feet, or whatever, that's what the purpose of this barber stop is. Cause you can slide it up and down your line. It slides up and down your line. It and it change it changes the depth of your line. So so right now you have a barber and a leader, a 12 inch leader. So say you wanna fish four feet. You slide this barber stop up about four feet. So when you cast your line and what gonna happen is this barber is, is gonna be sitting on your split shot and when you put it when you put it in the water your jig or your minnow or whatever and the split shot you got on here is going to pull that line down and then once it get right there it's going to stop right there and then you'll have four foot four foot of line from the bottom of your barber and so you want to change your depth to 10 feet. You want to fish 10 feet deep. So what you do is you take your barber stop and you just slide it up. And once you slide it up, it's going to sink until it gets to that barber stop. And once it's sinking, get to that barber stop, you got 10 foot of line below your barber stop. And that's what the purpose of that Barber stop is to change change the depth, change the depth of your line. And that's and that's it, people. That's it. it ain't, it's pretty simple. It's nothing, it ain't nothing fancy about it. Nothing hard about it. But I'm gonna where is it? It's right there. I'm gonna slide it back down so y'all can see every see everything. So you got your barber stop. You got your bead, slip barber. You got another bead. You got the split shot. And then you got a foot of a foot of leader up under your up under your barber, going to your jig or your hook. And that's pretty that's pretty much it, people. So I hope I explained that well enough for you to understand. So that's pretty much it. So next uh. I'm gonna show y'all uh, my rod and reel setup that I was using. Also, I use a, a lose, a lose Mac Crush spinning reel. And I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, let me see. This the rod that I use. It's a lose Mac Crush. You know, so I like I like this little reel. It's good for crappie, panfish. I ain't had no problems with it yet. This it's a nice little reel. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I I recommend it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing bad to say about it. it get it get the job done. I just bought this rod, but it's a uh, it's a Russ Bailey. Some medium light action. This this is an eight foot. I don't know if y'all see that. It's an eight foot medium light action. Russ Bailey. I just bought this here when I was out there. Um, uh, bluegill fishing. I had my six foot rod on a kayak, and uh. Every time I set it down, I would have to reach for it. That's why I went about this eight foot rod, so I won't have to do too much reaching. You know what I'm saying? It'll be right, you know, it'll be right there, you know, where I can reach it. And I don't have to be leaning forward trying to grab it. So I can have her, you know, right right in my lap or right between my legs or something. I can just reach down and grab it. 
So that's the reason why I bought it. So no more six foot rod. I got an eight, I'm gonna use this eight foot rod. Next time I go, I had this eight foot rod and it should be a little bit more comfortable fishing that way I ain't gotta do no reach. I ain't gonna get into all the specs on the reel. You can look it up, a lose, Mac crush, spinning reel, but it's a nice little reel. So I ain't, I don't have nothing bad to say about it. But that's it. I wanna show y'all a new addition to my, to my arsenal. I just got this here. It's a pen. A pen battle three, four thousand. I just bought it today. The max drag is like 15 pounds. All right, so mono it hold eight to 12, eight to 12 pounds. And then braid it hold 15. 15 to uh, 30, 30 pounds on braid. Came on a pin battle rod. This rod is a seven foot medium fast action. Mono 10 to 17, braid 10 to 30. That's it. I got it from Academy. So if you want one, go get it. They got plenty of them. This is a two-part video. So next, I'm going to show y'all how I uh, filleted them, uh, them bluegill I caught. So y'all stay tuned.